What are the worst pieces of Victorian medical advice? These are gonna get more unhinged the further we go. Up first is the tapeworm diet. This is an old flyer promising you can eat whatever you want and stay thin as long as you're consuming tapeworms. The theory was that if you eat these tapeworm eggs, the parasite will grow inside of you and start consuming your food for you. To lure the tapeworm out afterwards, a doctor would hold a piece of food to either the entrance or the exit of your body. As I explained in this week's episode, which is about all of this kind of stuff, this didn't work. Next up, we got bloodletting. Back in the day, it was believed that illness was from too much blood in your body, so they would use cuts or leeches to get it out of you. George Washington actually died from bloodletting when a doctor removed 40% of his blood. That's like giving blood back to back four times. And then we have trepanning or DIY cutting a hole in your skull. So this method for relieving skull pressure after an injury has actually been used for thousands of years. But in the Victorian era, it had about a 10% survival rate. I mean, I wanted to drill a hole in my head during a migraine, but not this bad. Anyways, for more unhinged medical advice, check out this week's episode.